So I have been smitten by a gigantic rack of pork spare ribs. They were on sale at a buck ninety-nine a pound and I just could not walk by them. So now I get to figure out how to get this all of this onto the grill and smoke it. This could take some redneck engineering. First thing to do is to cut it in half so it's at least manageable. Next trick will be to figure out how to get all of this onto one half of my grill so I can smoke it, but we'll get there. For now, the next thing to do is to get some rub on them. And I'm going to be using my old tried and true Wolf Rub Original. Pile it on generously. I keep going back to this because it is so good with pork. Do both sides. Some meat cutter got fancy with those, didn't he? Whatever. It'll all work. The more the merrier. That looks pretty good. Now to fire up Mr. Grill. So here's the game plan. This is the heat side. This will be the indirect side where the meat will go. Over here, I'm putting some hunks of chicory, some hunks of ch uh, chunks of hickory down in there, which I have pre-soaked in boiling water so they won't go up in flames. Next thing to do is light it. Wake up. Bring it up to operating temperature. Then we'll wing it from here. Temperature out here is, I would say, entirely acceptable. Not bad for March. I'll take it. That's the best you can do. And now to engage some of my hard-earned experience in redneck engineering. We'll see. I'm going to stack them. Regular old pieces of 2 by 4s soaked in water so they won't burn up, we hope. Stack another layer on top. And now dangle the Maverick probe somewhere in the middle. so we can get a rough idea of what the temperature is. Close it up and see if it works. Two hours into the cook, temperature is holding well. The new burner is proving itself to be uh, pretty stable and predictable. I like it. But now it's time to take a peek inside.
and it's looking pretty good in here. Looks like it's about half done. My rednecking actually seems to be working. So now, after four and a half hours, internal temp was 195. I've let them rest for 15 minutes. It appears that the uh, stacking experiment worked. And the next point of order is to get into these things. Now let's see what I've really got. Just for me. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Ouch. Hot. <laughs> and yum. Gimme. Stop eating and get these things on a plate. Ribs. Big, bad, meaty ribs with some Brussels sprouts, steamed with a little rosemary, drizzled with a little EVOO, a salad with some spinach and some bacon, some radicchio, tomato, sweet bell pepper, and a vinaigrette of red wine vinegar and olive oil with a little Reggiano on top and of course a little vino I'm set do excuse me